Sorry, I really like the opening. Redo! So this was actually blue. And neon green. I don't know where the neon went. It disappeared. It's more like a pale mint green now. The neon just said it was done. It was gone. It was out. I'm out! So, spider folding in half, tucking sleeves, matching ends. And we're gonna fix it. Because, yeah, it looks cool, but I can make it better. And unlike previous redos, yes, I am trying to make sure I get as much of one color on one side than one color on the other side. So basically, as I'm folding, I'm just trying to make sure that the green is on top as much as possible. And then the bottom, it really won't matter because the bottom will be just the blue again. Or a shade of blue will be the opposite color. Trying to make sure my folds are neat as possible. Necks and sleeves are annoying. Cause they never like to do what you want them to do. But it's okay. It's fine. It'll be good. It's always good. We're good. Does my rambling bother anybody? I feel like I ramble a lot. Let me know. I can't fix anything if I don't know what's wrong. But there we go. So I got a lot of blue on the one side. And I got a lot of green on the other side. Like I said, that neon green just turned into like a pale mint. I don't I don't know what happened. It the writ dyes faded so much. But anyway, moving on. So I am using my medium blue on this. I think the other was like a blue jean blue. Or a jean blue. I don't remember. I'd have to look at my Brit colors to see what the actual color was. But it was like a blue jean color. Which is pretty much medium blue. I don't know why I felt like I needed to specify that. But as always, I always do my darker colors first. And then flip them over and do my lighter colors. But this blue will cover up that minty green and the blue that was in there before. So that works good. Almost used an entire bottle. Wipe my hands. And then this is just my... Green. Something green. I have it written down somewhere. It's just not in front of me. I know! I mentioned before I should stick a list on the computer. So whenever I'm doing this, I can always see what it is. I have it written down, I just didn't stick it to the computer. But this green will mix in with any of the old blue nicely. And it will also mix and cover up that mint green, that pale mint green. So we're good there. Bag it up, let it sit for 48 hours, and then I'm going to rinse in the cold water to remove the soda ash, and then switch to warmish hottish water to remove the excess dye. Um, the greens and the blues don't come out as much as the reds but already the colors look so much brighter and bolder and I like it try and figure out where the back is give her some good shakes and boom there it is you can't really see much of the old color it blended right in I mean you can see some of the old blue that got mixed in with the green, but it looks cool. I like the extra depth. So wash and regular wash, nothing special with the soap, and dried. And this is what it looked like before with that pale minty green that was supposed to be neon. This looks more neon. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's actually just green. Um, 
I may have had some extra yellow mixed in with this green. I'm not really sure at this point in time, but either way, it looks so much better. And that blue that pops through in the green just gives it a little more contrast. And I like that. I, I think it turned out really good. I hope you like it. And most likely this will be put up on the website. Um, so I will leave a link down below for my website. Feel free to come over and peruse. Maybe by the time you get there, I'll have something different other than tie-dye on there. I don't know. I never know. I don't know what's going on four hours ahead. It's, it's just craziness for me. But in the meantime, if you like what you see, please like, share, subscribe, follow, thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, whatever it is, wherever you're watching. Because I appreciate the support and you all have a good day. Bye.